Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, it's Derek back again for Derek's Vlog. Um, I just wanted to say thank you real quick to all my new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate uh, you guys watching and commenting on my all my videos. And uh, apparently there's something I have to say that you guys want to hear, so I really appreciate that. Um, anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, something that happened tonight. Uh, I went to the gas station, and um, it's this place that's been around for like friggin' 100 years or something like that. And they're a full service place, and they, um, you know, they, they pump your gas for you, clean your windshield, do all that good stuff, check your fluids. And, um, but they had a sign that said that um, because of the current economic situation, and, and in order for them to continue to have um, um, competitive gas prices, they were going to be going to self-serve. And um, so I went in and I was talking to the clerk about it a little bit. And he said, yeah, they're also cutting back on employees. He said that they, at that store they had three layoffs so far uh, within the past couple of weeks. And it just made me so mad, you know, because it's like, um, you know, out of all the companies and, and, you know, the Walmarts and the Googles and all these big companies right now that are that are just, um, are, 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 uh, you know, sinking in the stock market. They're just, you know, losing money left and right. Um, you know, the stock market is just is is, is going downhill. All, you know, and 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 all these companies that are are just uh, having trouble. You know, um, airlines and all that stuff um, having to uh, you know come together so that they can somehow um, turn a profit. Um, the, the fucking the gas companies. Are are the are like one of the only ones that are actually like posting um, like record sales right now. I mean, there's record sales, and and the profits are up there, and, and they're just raping us in gas prices. You know, I mean, I could see maybe this oil situation is, you know, uh, you know, the war is playing a big part of it. The hurricane has something to do with it, but they're all excuses. You know, there's no reason to be charging this much for gas in the first place, but. The fact that they're fucking cutting back employees? Are you kidding me? Cutting back on employees? I'm sorry, but any other business that has record sales that I know of, you know, usually they, 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 they start um, gaining jobs and they start doing more, like, you know, uh, you know, remodeling their business and putting money into the business to, so they can make more business and, and, and all this stuff. Meanwhile, these oil companies, I don't know if you've seen pictures of these, um, these, these, these oil rigs out in, uh, out in, uh, fucking off the oceans and stuff like that. These things are like 300 years old, they're like falling to shit. Um, left and right, the, there's explosions and, and, ha and, and accidents and stuff, and people are, are dying on these things because of, of the hazards. I couldn't imagine what OSHA's thinking. But, um, they're, they're, they're just, they're, they're so cheap, and they're, they're, they're cutting back employees, and now, they, you know, they, this place has been around for 100 years, all of a sudden it's going self-serve because of, of, of impending gas prices? Like, come on, you know they're making money. Um, and, and I don't know what they're trying to do. Maybe they're just trying to stock up funds because of, uh, uh, you, you know, at, at some point, you know, within the next 5 to 10 years, you know, we're going to have to start doing something. We're going to have to do something so that we become less dependent on, um, on, 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 you know, natural, uh, you know, natural fuels, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's ridiculous, it's really ridiculous, and then, you know, uh, I heard about the, these, um, you know, these people that are, 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 are turning their cars in so that they can uh, run off of a vegetable oil and stuff like that, and, um, I mean, I think it's a great idea, and, you know, I haven't looked too much into it, but I've heard that the conversion's really not that expensive, um, compared to what you're spending, you know, you figure what you're spending a year in gas right now is just, it's fucking insane, especially compared to the you know the average person who who probably only makes about twenty to twenty five thousand a year, and you know you're spending like like a good third of that, at least on on fucking gas, and it's just insane, it's it's just insane, and I don't understand why why these companies are cutting back, you know, on employees and and you know, I can't remember the last time I went into a gas station that looked half decent, you know, um. And it's just, it's it's ridiculous. <laughs> and it just upsets me because this whole economic thing is just, it's really getting scary. And I don't know what, what other people think about it, but, you know, something is happening here that saying, that they said, oh, we might be moving into a recession. We're in a fucking recession. I don't care what you say. We are in a recession. 
we're headed for a depression. I can tell you that right now if we keep heading the way we are. And I listen to the radio every morning, and um, this woman gets on the radio and she talks about how um, gas, you know, how how about the stock market, and she starts saying, you know. Um, you know, this company record losses, and that company went down five points, and that company is down eight dollars, and and it's just it's scary, man. It's friggin' scary, especially at a time of year when it's it's um, right now where I know where I live, it's it's kind of a slow period, and um, you know nobody's really making money, um, and and nobody's really spending money. You know, people are spending money on on their necessities, and and that's about it. You know. Um, they just opened like four new stores here. They opened a, a Lowe's. They opened a Home Depot. They opened um, a Christmas tree shop. I don't know if anybody knows about that, but uh, they opened up all these big stores. And you drive by them, and they're all empty. The parking lots are empty on a fucking Friday at six o'clock. They're empty. It doesn't make any sense to me. And then to think, why would you open a new store like that and then just, you know. I don't understand. I don't understand what what these companies are thinking right now. You know where they should be consolidating. Um, you know it's just it's silly. You know, but I don't know. I'm probably boring you guys, so I'm gonna stop talking. Um, anyway, uh, leave some comments down below and let me know what you uh, have to say. And um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Thank you. With my big guns